Okay, great. So we've watched the story on the video, and we've had a little think about what it means. But now it's time to do the craft. Now, hopefully for the craft, you should have a sheet that looks something like this, and a sheet that looks something like this. Now, this one might already be uh, a bit bigger. You might have had two copies of this, but you only need half of it, because we need Jesus there and his 12 disciples, his 12 special friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now the first thing you need to do with these things is colour them in. I don't have any colours because I'm old and boring, but I'm sure you have lots of lovely colours at home. Colour them all in, make the people look lovely, and you can colour in a table too. Okay? Once you've coloured them in and made them look great, the next job is to cut them out. Now you might need a grown-up to do that, to help you, because it's a bit fiddly in some places. But cut out all your people and cut out your table too. Now I've already cut my people out, so I'm ready. I'm just going to cut out my table for us. Da -da -da -da. So make sure you cut all the way along all the, the dark black lines. Cut them all out, and then you should have a bit of a table, a row of people's backs, Jesus, and two little friends, two more little friends, and then one man, Judas, who looks like he's running away. Okay, so once you've got that, you've got them all lovely coloured in and cut out. Your next job is to fold up the table. Now, if you can see on the table, there's lots of these dotted lines. Now, if there's a dotted line, you need to fold it in. So we fold it in along the dotted line. On the dotted line, on the dotted line. It's one side of the table folded in. And we'll fold the other side of the table in. If you're really little, if you're in candles, you might need an adult to help you do the folding. Fold in that bit. Fold in the ends. Fold in the other end, fold in these funny little flat bits on the edges, funny shapes, fold those in along the dotted line, fold this one in along the dotted line, fold that in along the dotted line, and fold that one in along the dotted line. Okay, so you end up with something that looks almost a little bit like a bow, doesn't it? That. Now, on the funny little triangular bits, it's a little like that. On the outside, you need to put some glue. Okay, so put some glue on all of those bits. Something like this. Glue, glue. You don't need a lot of glue, just enough to stick it in. Back on the glue, and then you just fold the little tabs under and stick them on. Stick them on, push them together really hard so they stick on there. Oh, that one there, some of you may have made cubes at school, a bit like this. So, there you go. So what you've done is you've made a table. You made a table where Jesus and his friends are going to sit round to have the Last Supper. Okay. Then, on one side of the table, you need to stick your six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven disciples with their backs to Jesus. So you can stick them. Also put a little bit of glue along the bottom there, along the side there. Stick and stick them on to the table like that. There we go. So we've got six, seven backs of people. Now I think we probably should stick on Jesus next. So on Jesus, on these characters, you've got a little white bit along the bottom. Stick some glue along there. So we've got two little guys there and we will stick them on like that. 
to see them faces. Then I'll do Jesus and his two friends. There we go. Yeah, the table's getting really full. And then we can stick on Judas at the end. He's going to betray Jesus really sadly. We'll think more about that next week. A little bit of glue on him. Stick him on. There. Okay, so you've got Jesus and his 12 friends sharing the Passover meal together, the Last Supper, Jesus' last meal, before he's going to go to the cross and die. And the words on the table said, The Lord's Supper reminds us that Jesus' death was God's rescue plan to save us. It was the way that God was going to rescue us through Jesus dying on the cross. And every time we have communion, we have bread and wine in church, it helps us remember this meal and remember that Jesus died for us. It was God's rescue plan to save us. This little craft should help you remember that. So I'm sure yours look really, really great. Have fun making it.